Today I'm making some lentil falafel style balls. So lentil balls um, with just lots of flavour in them and the reason I came up with this recipe a while ago was actually I was looking at calcium rich foods that weren't dairy and I was looking at foods that were great for our gut and our gut microbiota and like prebiotic foods and I was looking for foods that were tasty and I was looking for a snack and so I came about it almost like from a almost scientific direction but actually I just adore these balls as a snack and they're, they're I hope you will too so watch me make them and see if you've got the ingredients at home you can make them too yeah so here we go what we're we going to put in first of all I get the nuts and the seeds and I um, kind of blend them up so they're just not so chunky so in here I've got half a cup of sunflower seeds and I've got half a cup of pumpkin seeds the pumpkin seeds and the sunflower seeds of course have got really fantastic protein in them and they've got fantastic anti-inflammatory oils they've got some phytoestrogens in them as well and they're just actually the pumpkin seeds have got zinc in and zinc is just fabulous for um to support your immunity as many and along with many other things like wound healing so i love those and i'm just going to blend them up with um some oats that's about three tablespoons of oats and about a quarter of a cup of sesame seeds the sesame seeds all the seeds have got calcium in them but sesame seeds in particular have the most so that's why I pop them in but I love their flavour as well so I am going to just blend them blend them up a bit <laughs> I tried to use a bowl where you could see what I was doing but clearly I've not used a deep bowl it'll still work I would actually put these all in a food processor and in one hit I just blend them together and if you have that sort of food processor at home you can do that it's really easy so those are pretty well kind of crushed up quite easily and then I'd add all the other ingredients um, which are kind of I almost call them my sticking ingredients but they all play a role as well see them and I just love that almost your mummy flavor of tomato paste so I'm using three tablespoons of tomato paste in there okay three tablespoons of those and I'm using a pinch of cayenne pepper now, depending on how spicy you like it, you can use a lot or a little, and you can swap the cayenne pepper for chili powder. Um, it's just try the mixture once you've made it up, and then you can work out if you want a bit more spice. I'm using a really good big pinch of salt in there. I'm doing a tablespoon of tahini paste. Tahini paste is um, pure, like um, blended sesame seeds into a, like a paste and so it's actually another concentration of calcium and I'm using lentils I'm using orange lentils because orange lentils have fantastic fiber in them they're really easy to cook up they go into this lovely mush which is actually what you want for these balls in interesting enough this is what orange lentils look like before they're cooked and I cook them up with a bit of water um, as per the packet instructions and I get that you can cook them for less time and they still hold their shape. But today I wanted, um, I wanted a mush. Oh my, uh, does anyone else have this problem with tea towels? <laughs> I just want to show you. I'm always getting holes in my tea towels because I kind of leave them by the stove by mistake and kind of they catch the flame or something like that. And then I end up with holes in them and give them a wash. And it's quite funny actually. No, no perfect brand new tea towels in this cooking demo at all. So, that's all the flavours apart from, I often put fresh herbs in this, in this, these balls. And usually I actually put parsley in because parsley is a good source of calcium, um, as well as many other beneficial phytonutrients. I don't have parsley, fresh parsley today. I've got some fresh mint and I actually thought that would go really nicely in there. So I'm going to mix all of that together. And the idea here is that you just want it to stick, stick together. And that's what you're trying to achieve. And mixing those flavors in as well. And then you get this kind of really quite um, dense mixture, which is what you want. And you can form them into any shape you like, into kind of falafel shapes, into sort of snacking ball sort of shapes, um, anything you want. So that's coming together. 
together really nicely. There we go. So then I just get about a heaped dessert spoon of the mixture. some extra sesame seeds here on this plate and I take a heat dessert spoon and just roll it into a ball and then I roll it in extra sesame seeds and that is as hard as it is there we go you could then take these balls or any shape you make them, you could make them actually into like, like a that sort of shape as well. And then you could actually go and toast them in the oven, in a, in a, a medium hot oven for just five minutes so they go a bit crispy on the outside and are warm. Um, that, they're lovely as they are now or crisping them up is just as gorgeous. Both work really well. And then I would just use them perhaps alongside a vegetable dish or toss through a salad or just eat them as a snack or something like that. Or I might dip them, use them dipped into a bit of tzatziki, so a yogurt and cucumbery mint dip or even some hummus. That would be really nice. And I think they taste, I think they taste absolutely delicious because they've got that umami tomato paste in them, things like that. If you had some miso paste in the house, you could have added that in. That would be extra special as well. Okay.